Well, at this point, you might be thinking, gee, I'd like to get my hands on one of these and actually play with it for myself. Well, we can sure, sure help you with that. Um, of course, you can obviously purchase the equipment and have all the experience you desire and all the training that goes along with it when you get it from Auto Nerds. Or if you'd rather have that hands-on experience ahead of time before you lay down any hard-earned cash, we can sure help you with that too. Just give us a call, set up an appointment, um, and we will uh, enable you uh, to have a live, hands-on experience with PicoScope from wherever you are in the world. All, you, all that's required is a high-speed internet connection, and you can get into one of our computers here at AutoNerds headquarters on a live vehicle and actually operate it live for yourself, and we will help facilitate that for you. Um, there's nothing else like it. Uh, you can actually experience that uh, right in front of you on your own PC with your own hands. It's your PC you're going to be running anyway, right? The only thing you can't do is hook up the leads from... 3,000 miles or 10,000 miles away or whatever it is. Uh, but, you know, you can get this hands-on experience uh, without somebody looking over your shoulder, uh, without some salesman. Um, it's almost like being there um, without the body odor. Okay, as we mentioned before, this particular capture right here uh, is a safe capture that was just pulled up as a data file. Um, we're only looking at 20 milliseconds of division. Now, that's not really that impressive. You know, and our sample rate's real good and fairly very adequate for what we're doing here and this amazing amount of detail in each one of these things, right? But, you know, there's a lot of scopes that could accomplish this. This isn't uh, all that uh, mind-boggling or mind-bending. Um, let me show you something that is. Okay, this is exactly the same capture. Um, the only difference is there's a lot more time on the screen. And this is where uh, the power of PicoScope just goes out there so far and beyond anything else that's ever been done that it's mind-boggling. We have five seconds of division on the screen. There are 50 seconds of continuous data on this one screen. And there could be more than one screen in the waveform buffer index. So keep that in mind uh, when you're looking at this one screen. Let's take a look at the property tab and just see how we're doing with this particular capture with that much time on the screen. It's hard to imagine that we could have anything useful, and you wouldn't with any other automotive scope in the world. You would have nothing useful with looking at this type of signals with this much time on the screen. Take a look at the properties. Sample interval, three millionths of a second. There are over 16 and a half million samples on each of four channels. Okay, numbers are numbers, right? What does it all mean? Well, let's take a look at that zoom feature. It means you can do this. It means that you can still see the waste and power events for cylinder number one. It means you can still zoom in on that injector like we did at 20 milliseconds of division, and it looks exactly the same. There's no data loss. We have captured absolutely everything we would ever need to see with 50 seconds of time on the screen. So this just takes it to the extremes. Um, and as you can see, we have the milliseconds on the bottom of the screen here represent uh, 856 milliseconds plus 19. So this is at 19 seconds, 852, 854, etc. So your scaling adjusts, of course, with your screen. You can zoom back and forth through all this stuff and look at each one of these. You can zoom back out. We can take a look at any particular area we're interested in. And this looks just the same as it did at 20 milliseconds of division as it does at 5 seconds of division. So if you can imagine the kind of power that puts at your fingertips to be able to catch your very long 
periods of data without the loss that you normally would get with other scopes. Where you're going to miss spike, you're going to miss glitches, you're going to miss things. The the data points are so close together that you're not going to miss anything of significance on these signals at that time base. So what that enables you to do is just hook up the scope, turn it on, and start manipulating things. You don't have to be watching the screen. You can be driving down the road and scope sitting next to you. You don't need a second second person in the car. You can watch the road, not mow down so many pedestrians and stuff. And, and like, just reach over and stop the scope at some point after you feel the problem. Go back through those screens, zoom in, and see what happened. And you will. If you're, on the, if you're on the signals that are affected, you will see what happened if you have configured the scope correctly. And that's what our training is all about, is to help to teach you how to make this thing fly and make it do things like we're showing you here and make it do so much more uh, than you would. It would take you forever to learn all the stuff you can do with this thing on your own. And that's why we're very, very serious at Auto Nerds about support and training. Probably one of the best validations we ever got about the, uh, um, how effective our support and training system is, is that other vendors around North America actively recruit uh, people who have come through or have been members of our PICO group and have learned um, from the best in the industry uh, of the other members of our group. And that's because we make the PicoScope Automotive Experts. And if you want to be one of them, join our group.